coming to a question in terms of how uh, uh, how ready we are. So it, there are two things actually that we call it climate plus change. Now climate issues are already there, but change process, socioeconomic process, where we need to also look at put our house in order, uh, especially looking at the drainage systems, looking at the natural water flow of the city, which has actually been blocked. The issue of mangrove forest, which is first line of defense for the city of Mumbai against cyclones. These issues must be taken forward and which I see that sometime uh, has been compromised of. Uh, does the Climate Action Plan address this? Yeah, to, to an extent it does. It is it is a lot of focus is on net zero because um, I know you, uh, if you look at the uh, emission uh, of the city of Mumbai, it is more for coming from the energy in the transport sector. So it focuses a lot. But I um, also feel that and then some portion of it is in terms of uh, what we call the uh, natural systems or sustainable waste management, urban greening, this, this addresses in part. But in specific, I would say that we need to uh, actually focus on the natural flow of water, especially the drainage systems. Uh, the natural drainage system, we have been building uh, without understanding the uh, way in which water uh, river flows. Uh, like for example, Miti River has become a drain, you know, at this moment of time, it used to flow in some, uh, you know, if you talk to some older people in Mumbai, they'll tell you that this was a beautiful river. It has almost become a drain. Uh, that's because of lack of waste management that we have. And so the, the system is becoming very complex day by day. And if you don't do it today, tomorrow is going to be much more compounding, uh, you know, problem that will bring in. So that's where uh, the things are. And that's why I'm happy about the plan, because at least to an extent, it talks about it when other cities don't. And uh, what are the challenges now of implementing such a huge integrated vision for a city like Mumbai? That is uh, the uh, what I see that the challenges definitely are many. Uh, one is definitely about uh, how it will be implemented. What is the architect of uh, you know uh, uh, service delivery, or what are the institutional setup in in building up this plan in a sense, actualizing this plan on ground? That is number one. So uh, that is, and I'm sure uh, the the details the devil lies in the details. Uh, and that's where, where the problem also lies sometimes. But because if you have a good intent, I'm sure the plan will also go very well. That's what I'm very optimistic about it. So that's number one. Second, what we're looking at is also about how do we uh, look at it from the bottom up perspective. So this plan is very good from the top down perspective. It gives you a very good figure in terms of where we are, the baseline. But it also has to be informed from the bottom up perspective. That means what level planning has to come up. That means you need to talk to people who are affected by them. Uh, the risk mapping has to be done, vulnerability mapping, which is done from the bottom up perspective. And this too has to marry uh, to make it a good plan. So that's second. The third part is actually about the institutional setup and the transparency about it, right? So how do we know that we will evaluate this, these uh, plans over yearly basis or any other periodic time frame that we have? Second is also about the in the uh, uh, you know, civil society organizations involvement in the process, because in monitoring evaluation, it is always good to have diverse set of people, journalists, uh, people working on ground, even local politicians, ward representative, how is that building it up so that it is much more transparent. It is also uh, inclusive uh, as new challenges may come as we go, because it's a long term plan. So you have medium, short, medium and long term plan. But if you're not inclusive enough, uh, you may also face certain challenges uh, in implementing it. 